It's a beautiful sunny day here in Koh Phangan, Thailand and I'm on a lovely beach. And the topic of today in this video is going to be about my junk food addiction. So as many of you may have seen in my recent videos, more so when I was in Bangkok, Thailand, when I went there for around nine days, I started eating a lot of a very heavy rich vegan junk food such as waffles, pancakes, hot dogs and so many other different vegan junk foods as well. So yeah, it was a really, really enjoyable experience and yeah, I was very aware that the food is very, very stimulating for my taste buds. So yeah, it just makes you want more and more and more and more and more. It was very, very tasty and enjoyable and it's not something that I've really indulged in that much, at least to the degree that I did in Bangkok, Thailand because I haven't had access to the foods that I did there compared to where I live here in Koh Phangan, Thailand, which is one of the most amazing tropical islands in Thailand. I highly recommend that you come and check out if you ever want to go to a lovely, lovely tropical climate and place. So yeah, since I have been back, I have been eating a lot cleaner, a lot more plant-based whole foods, but yeah, also a lot of the time I am craving some vegan junk food. And I know one of the reasons why is because I actually enjoy it and it's tasty. The second reason is it's a lot more calorie dense per grams of weight, so to speak. So if I've got 100 grams of fruit, because yeah, I do eat some fruit, and then I've got 100 grams of, say, waffles, it's a lot more calorie dense, the waffles, than the fruit. So yeah, for me as someone who is a calisthenics athlete, it does a lot of cardio, it's very busy and productive running multiple businesses, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier for me to get a lot more calories in within one sitting. Because yeah, when I'm eating more plant-based whole foods, I can't eat nowhere near as many calories. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I am feeling more drawn to so-called vegan junk food. But yeah, also I'm just aware that my body has been having quite a lot of it on a regular basis more so than in the past so yeah I'm now craving more and more of it for that reason as well and it's absolutely fine because I'm not concerned because if it was affecting my health in a negative way and I wasn't feeling good from it then I wouldn't consume it but when I'm eating it I'm actually feeling really good afterwards but if I begin to start noticing some ill effects from consuming some vegan junk food because I'm only consuming some I'm not consuming lots and lots and lots as of this current moment then I will stop eating it it's as simple as that so yesterday I ate mostly whole foods and I also had a vegan gluten-free cake that was the only vegan junk food that I had yesterday and the other day I had some Burmese salad which is really really healthy and I had mashed potatoes which is made with organic raw coconut oil which is really healthy and then I also had some chips which had vegan cheese on and they had a small amount of oil on them as well so that was a bit vegan junk foody but to be honest what I class as a vegan junk food for at least what I'm eating is really not that unhealthy compared to what a lot of vegans out there eat as vegan junk food because pretty much everything I'm eating they don't use refined sea salt they use unrefined sea salt they're all using things such as coconut sugar, no white refined sugar. They don't use all these unhealthy oils like canola oil and sunflower oil, the most of them that I'm going to. And a lot of the stuff I am consuming is gluten free, some of it isn't gluten free. But yeah, it's some of the most healthiest vegan junk food that I could possibly be eating or anyone else could be eating. So it's not something that I need to be massively concerned about at all. And I could literally just say no because I have complete control over urges for food because I overcome all of my food addictions in the past and I know that when something's affecting me in a negative way or and I just want to give it up I can say no but because it isn't affecting me in a negative way I will continue eating it here and there and there will be some mukbang videos where I will eat loads of vegan junk food. So yeah, I'm being completely mindful around this and I will just continue on this journey that I am and experimenting and seeing how I feel from what I'm eating 
and yeah just being very mindful of how things are affecting me mentally and emotionally after I eat and also the days following as well and one last thing what I say is the days that me and also Janessa that I've been spending a lot of time around when we're eating just pretty much whole foods in their plant-based form that after a few days of doing that we find that we haven't been able to eat nowhere near as many calories and then we start to get hungrier earlier in the day whilst we're in our intermittent fasting state on our one meal a day diet journey and then yeah we're like okay we need to eat some more unhealthier vegan food that will be classed as vegan junk food and then when we go and eat that type of food we eat so many more calories within one sitting that when we go to fast until the next day again we easily can fast for 24 hours or even 25 hours so yeah we're experimenting a lot with it and that's what i found before in the past when i was eating really really clean and trying to eat one meal a day i just found it really really difficult i'm not saying this would be the experience for you but this is at least my own experience and what i say is if i wasn't doing quite a bit of exercise i don't think i could get away with eating more unhealthier vegan food so to speak but because i'm very active within my day most days and i just have a lot going on and i train quite consistently that my body can burn through it very effectively and efficiently and I don't seem to get really any negative effects whatsoever. But if you're someone that's sedentary and just sitting around, mm, I wouldn't necessarily recommend eating um, unhealthier food. I would recommend trying to eat the cleanest food that you possibly can. Because especially when you're consuming things that have got more oil in, it can slow down your blood circulation and make your blood more stagnant. But I found with doing fitness on a regular basis, not that I consume a lot of oil at all, because I don't consume things that are deep fried or literally covered in so much oil at all, like ever. Um, yeah, it's really going to start to have a very negative effect on how you feel mentally and physically. And yeah, just affect your health a lot more of in a negative way so that's just something to remember so that's it on this topic if you have any questions leave them down below and i get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about my vegan junk food addiction and cravings so to speak and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where i'm talking about my own journey with eating one meal a day on a whole foods plant-based vegan diet also informational videos on one meal a day and intermittent fasting calisthenics workout and progression videos what i do in a day videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself in direction to achieve the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels and also teach you the information to get those results. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.